Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ATN Bangla. This is Shafi Akbi with the news. First, CCP headlines. Documents of Zia Orphanage Trust Corruption Case sent to the High Court. The order regarding Khalid Azia's bail tomorrow. Third span of Padda Bridge late. 450 meters of the bridge are now visible. Joint border patrolling of Bangladesh and Myanmar resumes after 10 months. And future of next generation must be made safe without damaging environment, says President Abdul Hamid at International Solar Energy Conference in New Delhi. Now on to the details. The order regarding bail of PNP chairperson Bengal Khalid Azia in Zia Orphanage Trust Corruption case will be given tomorrow. The High Court Bench of Justice M. Inaitur Rahim and Justice Shohidul Karim fixed the date this afternoon. Meanwhile, the documents of the corruption case has been sent to the High Court by the Trial Court. On the 8th of February, the Trial Court sentenced Khalid Azia to five years imprisonment after it found Begum Zia and five others guilty in the graft case. The third span of Padda Bridge has been installed at the Jajira point of Shoryatpur. The 150-meter span was placed on pillars number 39 and 40. The positioning and adjusting of the span is underway. It may take six to seven hours to adjust the bearing positions. With the placement of the third span, 450 meters of the bridge is now visible. The second span was installed on the 28th of January, about four months after the first one was placed on the 7th of October last year. Bangladesh and Myanmar joint border patrolling have resumed after 10 months. The joint patrolling began in spite of tension prevailing due to deployment of more Myanmar soldiers at Tumru border. Early this morning, the members of Border Guard Bangladesh and Border Guard Police of Myanmar began the patrolling near the Bob Duer fencing at Gunandum and Tumru borders for about an hour. Earlier, the border guards of both the countries started joint patrol to maintain good relations, but it was stopped owing to the Rohingya problem. Meanwhile, about 6,000 Rohingyas have taken shelter at Zero Line near Tumru border of Bandarban. Last week, Myanmar deployed more troops on the other side of the border. Under the circumstances, return of Rohingyas who have taken shelter at zero point has become uncertain. President Mohammad Abdul Hamid has reaffirmed firm commitment to further promote renewable energy, particularly solar power. He was addressing the plenary session of the International Solar Alliance Conference in New Delhi. The President said, Bangladesh is always prepared to cooperate for ensuring affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. He also emphasized on investing in renewable energy for improving energy access to rural and underprivileged people as well as the safety of this planet. Meanwhile, Bangladesh President Mohammad Abdul Hamid met Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi today. These are often undermined, underpinned by developmental goals of our individual countries. Nevertheless, we should not forget to conserve environment for the benefit of our future generation. The government of Bangladesh has undertaken a number of programs to enhance the use of renewable energy. As part of ongoing activities, Bangladesh has installed around 5 million solar home systems serving around 20 million people. We are always ready to mutually collaborate and cooperate for ensuring affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is now in Singapore on a four-day official visit at the invitation of her Singapore counterpart Lee Sin Lung. A VVIP flight of Biman Bangladesh Airlines carrying the Prime Minister and members of her entourage took off from Hazel Shah Jalal International Airport this morning. High civil and military officials saw her off at the airport. Electioneering for Gaibanda 1 and Brahmanbaria 1 by election ends midnight tonight. Voting for these two constituencies will be held on Tuesday. 
In Gaibandha, there are four contestants, but the candidates of PNP and Awami League are going from door to door. By-election in Gaibandha 1 is being held for the second time during the tenure of present parliament. However, Jatiya Party activists, leaders and workers allege that the ruling party candidates are violating the election code of conduct. The government has nothing to do with the participation or non-participation of BNP in the next general election. Awami League General Secretary and British Minister Obadul Ghadir said it is their democratic right. He said this while inaugurating the superstructure work of Ghumti Bridge at Daud Kandi in Kumilla. He warned if PNP tries to create law and order situation and chaos in the name of democracy, people along with Awami League, they will be resisted. Now news from abroad. China has approved the removal of term limits for its leader in a move that effectively allows Xi Jinping to remain as president for life. The constitutional changes were passed by China's annual sitting of the National People's Congress on Sunday. The vote was widely regarded as a rubber stamping exercise. Finally, cricket and tourists spectacular batting by Mushfiq helped Bangladesh achieve an unforgettable victory against Sri Lanka by five wickets in Nidahas Trophy at Colombo at Premadasa Stadium in Colombo. And that's the Nabis Bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Allah Hafiz.